Good day, eh? This is Zedlo, and I am thrilled and very proud to announce the launch of my BFM and Weapons Trainer mission, version 3.0. For those of you who haven't tried it, this mission allows you to practice employing all manner of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground ordnance against a variety of target types, all within one mission. You can spawn a variety of air-to-air -air adversaries in a number of different situations. You can spawn neutral, or the enemy will spawn 10 miles ahead in closing. Get ready. It's defensive as well. You can spawn a bandit at your 6 o'clock. Practice getting out of a jam. And then offensive. The bandit spawns ahead of you. Don't let him get away. In the air-to-ground realm, you can practice employing against a variety of respawnable targets, moving and stationary. In addition to the standard in-game JTAC, this mission also features a moving target that's continuously lased by an orbiting drone. It enables you to practice using laser-guided weaponry and laser search modes. A variety of surface-to-air threats can also be spawned at the player's whim, allowing for threat reaction training and also employing seed and deed tactics. All of the air-to-air -air and surface-to-air threats mentioned can be spawned via the radio menu F-Time at any time during the mission. Don't forget, there's an armed ship near the mouth of the Batumi River. That's for the player who wants to engage against a maritime target. But be careful, it's armed. The BFM and Weapons Trainer isn't just about fighting. We have tankers orbiting to the north if you'd like to practice with refueling, both boom and probe and drogue. Information's on your kneeboard. Out to sea to the west is a carrier battle group set around the USS John C. Stennis. Don't worry if you don't own the supercarrier module, you can still use this carrier. Get good at carrier ops in your choice of aircraft, trust me. Regular practice at the boat can pay dividends when it counts. Oh, one more thing. You can do all of this in daylight, nighttime, or in bad weather and you can choose to do so right in-game using the radio menu F10. The BFM and Weapons Trainer is an invaluable tool to help you become a better DCS flyer. I hope you give it a go today and let me know how you find it. Alright, now for the changelog. Version 3.0 has a lot of cool extras as part of the core plus some new features you can select via the radio menu F10. The first one that caused me a lot of stress, but I'm proud to say that now when you spawn an offensive or defensive adversary, they will no longer turn away from you. This will help the AI recognize you as a threat and the possibility of them not seeing you, it's greatly reduced. This was a tough nut to crack, and I finally uh, got it done, and I'm really happy about that. The next one I've done is something that drove me a bit nuts, and a lot of players as well. I've eliminated flares on the bad guy aircraft. This will stop the flare spam that some aircraft seem to enjoy employing. I've also added realistic loadouts for most aircraft. That would be like a typical combat loadout versus some of the others what are just stacked with GBUs. You can use those types of uh, aircraft to practice specific things, or you can just choose to have a realistic loadout to just practice your combat techniques. An oversight on my part, some aircraft that could use them were not equipped with night vision goggles for the night missions. I've fixed that now. The F-15E now has JSAW and JDAMs, so go nuts. And you know how the MiG-21 was flying like a UFO? Well, no more. Kinda. I've added a script to the mission that adds extra mass to the aircraft. That'll vary from 1,000 to 2,000 kilos more, and should help even out that crazy fish bed. And finally, I've cleaned up the aircraft naming convention. It makes the selection screen look a little tidier. 
Okay, now the radio menu F10 changes. You now have the ability to select immortality on and off. You can change back and forth at any time. I've added an extra feature under the target illumination and smoke option. You can now choose to have the target X illuminated by parachute flares. This can help certain nighttime scenarios and adds an extra dimension of fun to the game. Give it a go. You can also choose to have the moving target illuminated by an IR beam, which is visible through the NVGs. Just follow the line to the target. There's also now an option to spawn a series of smoke and fire around the target at various distances. This can aid you in determining your distance to the target and give you a better idea of the sight picture at different ranges. These are three, four and a half, and six miles respectively. At any time, you can choose to have these markers disappear from the game. Just use the Radio F10. And that's it. That is the changes that 3.0 brings to the game. I hope you download it, and I hope you fly it, and I hope it helps you become a better DCS player. If you have any comments, concerns, questions, or whatever, please reach out to me on the Eagle Dynamic forums or here on YouTube. I'll try to answer any questions that I can. All right. I hope you have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.